The Bataks retreated to a remote valley, and quickly started to build a home. The knowledge they had gained that night was nothing short of a blessing, and they weren't willing to share. It turned out that the book was the journal of a wise man, it contained theories and system controls that could very much yield what was once known as magic, to the common man but naturally. There was a price to pay. The journal contained a simple spell on the last page. It would connect the chanter's bloodline to the great flow for all of eternity, but they would never return to the sidelines again. The Bactucks couldn't stop the overflowing joy within them, as they prepared thoroughly for the ritual. Their grandfather gladly led the ceremony, and uttered the words inscribed while holding the book, and as every word escaped from his mouth, the letters on the book came to life, and started to float around the gathering. Then they all fell asleep. When they woke up, nothing, in particular, had changed except their hair color. They each had at least a single white strand of hair, with some having more than others. They were scared, and worried at first but all those thoughts vanished as they began to test out their newfound abilities. It was glorious, in a few days they had built the grandest buildings the world had ever seen, enshrouded in the mountains. The limitations were gone, they could do anything they so wished, and they did, being people of great knowledge, and experience. Their pool of what to try out never ran dry, and they soon created what could be accepted as a paradise for them. There was a scuffle on the outside world, and it had grown into a great war, lives were being lost but the back tucks had no idea, nor did they care. They only wanted to protect what they had built, until he came down to them. Although they had grown strong over the years, he easily beat them down, and warned them. He told them that the knowledge they had received tipped the balance of their world a little bit, and they naturally, as the strongest, knowing the difference between right, and wrong, had to keep the people of their planet in check. He sounded desperate, like he was trying to stop something, and left as fast as he had come. The Bactucks, fearing his return, quickly went into the world to see what had been happening, they saw greedy men, ecstatically obsessed lovers, warmongers, and so much more doing as they pleased. They soon felt, and came to understand why that being was so angry at them because they too were angry at themselves. They had the secrets of the universe in the palms of their hands, and knew fighting directly was not going to change anything, and decided to pick a lesson from history. And that's how this menacing family of assassins came to be.